Welcome back, guys. It's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today, we're looking at altcoins for August. I put a call out on Twitter for your top requests. So these are the top three from that Twitter post, plus two of my cryptos, which I also like the look of. And out of these three, I like the look of one of them in particular. So we'll get to those in just a moment. But make sure you've hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are down below. Special is still on for the Investor Accelerator. We're in a downtrend. What can I say? We'll keep the specials going until we're full. Let's have a look at the first thing. And I want to do a quick disclaimer on the S&P and Bitcoin because it's the overall markets. Now, altcoins are the most risky thing that we can bet on, speculate on in the game. So if the overall market is trending down, that usually scares everything. Uh, some people like to believe that their coin is going to be going up during these periods, but generally speaking, most things are going to tank because it's very risky. So people like to remove the risk from the market, wait on the sidelines with cash uh, until something else happens. So we've been seeing a lot of stuff coming out. There should be a crash in the stock market in August, in September, in June. Every month, there's always supposed to be a big crash. And so far, we haven't seen anything that has taken us out like we saw with COVID. So all I've got here is the uh, three areas that I see on the chart that were basically a peak and then a sideways period. And then I'm just looking for the area that the market broke back above the first peak. So there's generally been about three months, like I could see from 2020. And then we also had one from January into March. And then again, the most recent one, which was the April top into June, which we saw the bottom come out on the seasonal date, which is pretty good. The arrows here is basically what happened to Bitcoin. We were going up during the sideways period. We were going up again during this sideways period. And then this sideways period, we actually went down. So there it is on your chart, up, up, down. So what can this tell us in the crypto markets? Well, essentially, when we have a sideways period, Bitcoin likes to do something up, up, down. It's good for volatility. Up, down or sideways, anyone's call. You let me know in the comments what you think. But so far, we've seen two ups and one down. The main thing we can note here is that the period generally lasts for about two to three months. That's something that we can confirm whether it's up, down or sideways. It's generally two to three months and then we get some sort of resolution. The market caps are at 1.68 trillion for the total crypto market space. Ethereum is leading the charge 7%, 17% in the last seven days. And we're seeing some of these big players finally bounce back after being absolutely hammered like Polkadot and Uniswap. But we're here to look at the altcoins for August. And the first one on the list is Pirate Chain, R A double R triple R, sorry, USD. And we're going to look at the Bitcoin values as well. So make sure you are looking at the BTC values. This is my favorite out of the three. And of course, I have my other two on the list as well. So I've got five for August. These are the requests. R was huge. We had tons of likes, tons of retweets. So make sure you do that on Twitter. This looks good. Where we're still within a zone here. We haven't broken out. We haven't done anything crazy or or got absolutely smashed on the chart without any bottom insight. We've got some volume coming in. We've hit 50% levels. And then a breakout above $4 would be the confirmation or the safe entry. But it doesn't mean that we are going up anytime uh, soon very fast. But a nice slow steady pace would be fantastic, right? That's what I like to see in my coins at first. I don't want to see them shoot up and then crash back to earth. I want to see steady gains on the way up. Uh, so Pirate against the USD value looks good. Our BTC also looks good. This is what we want to see. We want to see it in a steady rising uptrend. Higher highs, higher lows. This is very different to the other two cryptocurrencies which, which we'll look at. So I hope, hopefully you guys are noticing that even if it's your beloved coin and it offends you that that coin is going down. We're literally just looking at the charts and what the facts are showing us on the chart. I'm not giving you my opinion or my emotion here. This is just what it is. You'll know when I give you my opinion. B uh, Pirate Chain BTC, volume, good. Hitting some volume at the lows, 50% again, looks good. Pirate Chain looks good and I like the project. Now, this is what the Moon Boy charts look like. There is a lot of hype and love for them, but unfortunately, they look like this. They are literally just down, 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 and many years of sideways, right? This was a nice peak, and then we went down for years. And then we get this huge run up, and it just starts to deflate, 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 starts to break down. Eventually, when it breaks breaks through support, 
it go, falls further. Now, I bring up Dogecoin because we know it's a Moon Boy token. Moon Boys love Doge. They also like Tell. It could be a fantastic project. Not trying to offend anyone here. But if you look at the chart, it happens again and again and again. We just fade away. Now, we make it like nice and easy. We can look at it on a line chart. You can just see the highs are getting lower. You want to be entering something as the highs are breaking out. Higher highs is an uptrend. You want to make money? You look for an uptrend. At the moment, we've got lower lows, lower highs, downtrend. If you put this on log, you can see that's kind of the pattern that you'd expect. It gets lower and lower and lower, capitulation. And then this low gets higher than the previous one. That's a good sign that we're about to take off. That's what I'll be looking for. But at the moment, we're sort of heading down potentially a small capitulation here, but maybe we go down a little further and come back to retest some of these highs, right? There's just nothing in it that's really saying otherwise. We'll throw it back onto some bars. You can see we haven't gone down for that long compared to what it has done in the past. So is it ready to take off? You guys let me know in the comments down below. Do you like the look of this or are you sort of basing it on the feeling that it's well and truly undervalued compared to where it was at its top, being that it's 74% down? Doesn't mean it couldn't go another 20% from there, but essentially you're looking at from that point, just to get to these highs, again, it's about 40 to 50% down. That's the sort of thing we're looking at here with something like Tell. And if we look at it on BTC, same sort of thing. Again, downtrend. I know it's really difficult to take the emotion away from this, especially if it's something we're invested in or we bought it at the tops and we definitely want to see this thing go back up so that we can jump aboard the train and feel good again. But there's just not really any end in sight just yet. Look at the chart. It's just down, 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 down. And then it spikes for a while. And then it starts to fade out again. Fade, 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 fade. I wouldn't be surprised if we came back and tested these support zones. If we, if we gave it a little more, you know, somewhere up around the two, that's, that's about 20 Satoshis. It's dropped in another two values because it's such a, a low value crypto. And so should it get there? Great. Maybe that's a DCA time and you just want to check the pattern. But at the moment, I don't see anything good about Tell against BTC. This could keep going down against BTC value, just like the rest of these, but go up in its dollar value, in which case Bitcoin is a safer option because it's losing Bitcoin value as it gains or retains USD value. All right. So you don't want to be losing Bitcoin value. You want to see both of them go up. And I'll show you that in one of my charts. Harmony is the third player on this list. And you can see that it's very similar to Tell and it's very similar to Doge. It's a, a favorite of new investors as it's shot up and earned people a lot of money, paper profits potentially, and then they've followed it all the way back down and hoping for more good stuff here. And this is on a weekly chart. So this plays out over weeks and nothing much happens. People sort of look at this hour to hour, day to day, nothing happens. It feels good in the moment, but long term, it's not really getting you anywhere. You know, from these lows to here, about 60%. That's if you bought that low. BTC value, nothing much has happened here. From the low to where we currently are, about 25%. That's on the BTC value, but it's absolutely gone nowhere from the last time we talked about it, which was early July and now we're early August. Markets down, 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 down. Look, I know it's sounding a bit depressive, but I'll show you some charts which actually make sense. You can see the highs here, lower highs. You got a lower low, got to see what happens here. This is kind of sideways, right? Just want to make sure that your Bitcoin value is also going up. Nothing's happened over the last month. I'm still not buying into this. I'll still see what happens, see whether it comes down and tests these old highs over the next couple of weeks to months. Now onto two cryptos which have done well. One is FTT, which I've spoken about on the channel. Look at that. Higher highs. This is all lower lows here, uh, lower highs. And then we just broke the highs. So we got a higher high here above this high, this high, this high, this high, right? And then on the BTC chart, guess what? It did the same thing. It's breaking above the highs. That's all we have to do here. And if this is too hard to see, throw it onto a line chart and you got a high. Look at these highs. They're all lower, but we're finally starting to break above. Does that confirm anything? No, it doesn't confirm it yet. We need to get another higher high to confirm it. But at least we are trending up, whereas these other charts are still trending down. 
Okay, so you want to be getting into something as we're beginning to trend up or it's basing out. You can see like the basing out through these levels, crashing, starts to base out and then starts to move again. That's the times, right? So FTT is looking good at this stage. It has had a reasonable run up. Let's see where it consolidates and whether it can push again to a new high. That's a sort of safe, safer type of crypto that I like to look at. Badger, on the other hand, check that out. Lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. Guess what? We are getting a break, finally, a break. So take this, look at this, and then if you see this on your Telcoin or your one, Harmony one, then that's sort of your signal that hmm, maybe we are about to start heading to the moon. So you can see it did it on Harmony one earlier. It headed down, then it started to reverse, came back, tested some hot tops, and then it took off to the moon. It doesn't really take off in these points. You want to see it start to break some highs with some volume. That's what you look for. So it's nothing against the cryptos. Telcoin could be a great company, a great crypto. Harmony One could be a great crypto. But you just want to make sure that you're getting into a market after the accumulation stage or during it, not during the distribution as the market continues to fall. So we've seen that. Check that out. The pattern on Badger USD or Badger BTC. You can see here as well, it's starting to work its way up again after all of this time down of 90%, you can see that it's starting to roll around and start to break some highs again. So use that for your cryptos moving forward. They were the three August altcoins, which you guys had mentioned on Twitter. So if you're not following, make sure you go and follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. There's still a special on the Investor Accelerator. So check that out. Link is in the description down below. If you want to get a free newsletter to investing, also there's a link to that down below. Crypto, stocks, and property market we cover uh, every two weeks so you won't be spammed it's free just drop your email address if you don't like it just unsubscribe same deal with the channel make sure you're subscribed if you don't like it doesn't cost you anything unsubscribe later like the video up and i will see you guys at the next video until then have more fun to get more done